oh shit, he's a G now. It's kind of against the damn world. Shit. Anyway, um, this ghoul, what's his name? Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Tartar Sauce or something like that? Real powerful ghoul. He hits the CCG up hard. I mean, extra hard. They killed, um, it was one building. He killed everybody in it. Not just him by himself, but him and his uh, organization. Anyway, um, after he does that, everybody and their moms want a cup of coffee. First, we get this uh, this group of like, what's it, like three or four people. They show up um, looking for Rize. Find out that something went wrong and yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that. Anyway, Toka's brother shows up for some coffee also. Talks about how she's weak and he's strong because he likes to kill. Then Jason shows up for a cup of coffee, but he wanted to express her. And he find, and he goes straight towards um uh my man um uh Kaneki. Now he beats the shit out of everybody, kidnaps him. That's how fucking strong he was. And then he also said, Oh, he's a one eyed ghoul. So I guess he's more powerful than the rest of them or something like that. Anyway, after that, we find out that the CCG's got a secret weapon. They bring in this little dude, I mean, the little boy. I mean, he looks like a damn kid. I don't know why, I don't know what it is about him, but I knew he was going to be fucking powerful because he didn't fit in with the rest of them. Anyway, Jason, he's putting his torture game down on um, Kaneki, and I mean bad. And uh, he's fucking him up bad. I mean bad. And he's got him counting down from a thousand by sevens. And they said that's the only thing that kept him from snapping. They said that's a it's a it's a strategy to keep you from going completely insane. That way he can keep torturing them and keep hearing them scream and all that other dumb shit, whatever. Anyway, Amin, he's got a Christmas present. Now he left uh, Attack on Titan and came over to uh, Tokyo Ghoul because he wasn't paying him enough. And also. That dude Mato left him a damn um, Kagune or whatever it's called. He left him one of those. He said it, it suits him better or whatever. Maybe so. I don't know. But uh, he used it. He was able to take down two S ranks. So I don't know. But I don't see what's so special about it. I think it just uh, works for him. Anyway, um, he said the way you defeat ghouls. He said you can't outpower. You can't outpower them. Can't out muscle them. You can't out. You know you're not fast. They they physically are superior to humans. He said. So how do you win? He said, man, fight dirty like a motherfucker. He said, throw some sand in their eyes. He said, if you know whatever you got to do, trip them, grab them by the nuts, squeeze, you know anything. He said, fight fucking dirty. And I I agree with him. He said, if you're fighting for for good, you're on the right side. You're doing the right thing. You're trying. Let's say you're trying to take down a serial killer. All bets are off, man. I'm not trying to be nice to a serial killer. You know what I'm saying? Fuck him. He said, fight dirty as shit. You know? Anyway, um, he had got his skill level way up. He was fighting against um, Toka again. And she said, damn, this motherfucker putting in a lot of work. He's pretty good. He really was putting his, you know, um, some work in, in the gym. It was gym life for a minute. And uh, anyway, the CCG, we found out they created Jason. They had um, locked him up one time. And somebody from there, I guess he didn't like ghouls or whatever, tortured the shit out of this dude. And that's when he was able to escape. He got, some at some point in time, he was able, able to escape, became ruthless, and started killing, and he called himself Jason. That's where it all came from. Um, now, before he was in there, we don't know what happened. Some dude says, no, nah, but the, the ghouls only kill to eat. They only kill to eat. So would you let them kill you to eat? Fuck that. If they eat people, fuck them. I'm not, I'm not saying that there aren't any good ghouls and whatnot. But the only way you can have good ghouls is in this manner. Well, you can live amongst ghouls is in this manner. Your mom dies. You guys have a mock funeral where you know that the body's being taken to some ghouls so they can eat her. You'll be cool with that, with your with your parents being eaten by ghouls. Come on now, that's the only that's the only way it's gonna happen. 
you know, unless they can grow some damn um, organs some kind of way through some st synthetic means or something. But even then, all it takes is for one of them to get hungry and turn around and eat you. If he, they, and um, Kaneki were the only p two people left, right? You think he, they, I mean, you think um, Kaneki wouldn't eat he, they, like he would be safe? He's going to get hungry and he's going to eat them. Period. That's just how it works. So it ain't got nothing to do with good or evil. It's the simple fact that this guy's going to fucking kill you for regardless of the reason. Self-preservation. I'm trying to survive. So anyway, um, we don't know exactly what Jason was before he got tortured. Now, we do know he became a monster after, but he might not have been that great of a person before. But we, he wasn't as bad as now, but he could have been bad before and just got even worse. Anyway, we got an all-out war. It's the CCG versus um, the ghouls and whatnot. And the CCG is doing pretty good. And they bring the secret weapon and he is terrorizing them. I mean, he is terrorizing ghouls. And I knew he was going to be a terror. He was going to be a problem because um, he said that he said when he found out that they were going to war, he said, ooh, I can give me some uh, some cognies or whatever. So, obviously, he's got to kill him to get it. So, and he's going to collect them. So obviously he's planning on killing a lot. He's killing them so quick it is it's not even fun to him. Like he's hoping that he gets a challenge. I don't know what it is about this dude. Is he half ghoul or something? Or is he just that good? Like he knows how to fight each and every ghoul personally. And he's only 19. He's a prodigy basically. Anyway, Rize pulls a damn Migi on Kaneki. Goes into his dreams. Talks to him, convincing him to, you know, change his mentality for the better to a degree. And uh, Jason also reveals that I think he was involved in um, killing uh, Rize and having her transplanted into him in order to create a hybrid. But he didn't know there was going to be a, a one-eyed hybrid. So that's the thing. Because he said he knew the dude that, that trained the transplant. So I'm guessing that one of the doctors disguised himself as human or was blending in with the humans and whatnot, and they didn't know he was a ghoul and transplanted uh, Rize's uh, organs into um, into Kaneki. Anyway, um, she convinced him that sometimes you got to do some dirt in order to make it, you know, work. And she's actually right, cause we got the ins we got some insight into uh, Kaneki's past and his parent, you know, his parents and his mom and whatnot, how she was used and whatnot. And if she didn't let people use her, he should still be alive and everything like that. Very true. But I think she was using that as a way to take over Kaneki's body. And at this point in time, I'm not sure whether she took over or not. Um, it seems like Kaneki is still in control. But at the same time, how was he able to use those powers like that? That's what confuses me about it. Like, he's just now starting to... Uh, he just now starting to use the powers in general, and he can use it to that degree. Not only that, uh, Jason... He was counting. Why was he counting? He already been through torture worse than that before. So how could he have beat Jason down like that by stabbing him twice to make him, um, you know, do what he, he do his bidding? So those two things didn't make sense. But it is, uh, it getting exciting at this point. A lot of good action. Um, we're getting ready to see the old head in, in action. The dude from the coffee shop. I'm guessing he's pretty powerful, but I want to see what's going to happen. Also, I want to see that fat dude that works at the coffee shop. Remember, he said he used to be a terror back in the day, so that's going to be pretty entertaining. Overall, I'm going to say 4.5 out of 5. Pretty good. New, good new characters, good development, but I just like I said, I got a couple problems with the uh, Rize thing and the uh, Jason thing. Oh, well, go ahead, leave comments, like the video, and subscribe, because I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke, and you got the power to change that. Peace.